When I say Sonic, you say boom, Sonic, boom, Sonic, boom. Hi everybody, my name is TJ. I'm a manager for Asphalt Green's Recess Enhancement Program, or REP. Uh, our mission is to make recess safe, active, and fun. Uh, I know recess looks a little different these days, but we're still here to give you fun games to play with the kids who are coming to your centers. Um, before we get to today's game, let's do our safety check, as always. So, remember to wash your hands and have students wash their hands before and after playing any games. Um, our games are designed to keep social distance, um, but remind students to stay six feet apart if they forget. Try not to touch your face and remind students to keep their hands away from their faces as well. I know that's a hard one, for me anyway. Um, and if anyone has to sneeze or cough, remember to do it into your elbow. So with that out of the way, let's get to it. Um, our game today is called All My Neighbors. What's the name of the game? All My Neighbors. All My Neighbors is a fun game that will help students learn more about each other and get them moving at the same time. It's good for uh, older students, maybe like third to eighth grade. When we're teaching new games, we always like to go through the rep model, which is ready, explain, play. So uh, first up is ready. When getting ready for any game, we want to map out our play space and designate boundaries. For all my neighbors, uh, this is really easy. You can do it in one of two ways. You can either have the students form a circle and then put down cones where each uh, student is standing, or you can scatter cones all over the play space. The one thing you need to keep in mind is that there should be one less cone than the number of people playing. So if there are 10 people playing, there should be nine cones. Um, and if you don't have cones, you can just put down tape on the ground where people are supposed to stand, or even if you don't have tape, just put down pieces of paper or whatever you have. Just uh, make sure there's one fewer spot than people playing the game. Um, otherwise, you just want to take out any, any items that could get in the way, uh, and you're all set. That's all you have to do to get ready to play All My Neighbors. Um, and now that we're ready, let's explain. When explaining a game, you want to do it quickly and clearly. We like to start every game within two minutes. Uh, kids have short attention spans and they don't want to listen to you go on and on about the rules. So make it concise and clear and then get to the game. Uh, I want to explain all my neighbors to you like I'm leading it for a group of kids. You can follow along in the PDF um, or if you have a handout with the rules, um, you can follow along as I go through them. When I say Sonic, you say boom, Sonic, boom, Sonic, boom. Hi everybody, my name is Coach TJ. What's my name? Today we're gonna to play a game called All My Neighbors. What's the name of this game? Good, I want everybody to find a cone on the ground and stand next to it. I don't have a cone, so I'm gonna start. I'll say something uh, like, I love my neighbors, all my neighbors who, and then I'm gonna tell you something that's true about myself. If it's also true about you, you have to leave your cone and find a new one. I'm gonna to try to get to an empty cone before they're all taken. So for example, I love my neighbors, all my neighbors who like basketball. If you also like basketball, you have to switch cones with someone else who likes basketball. Whoever doesn't find a cone does five jumping jacks and starts the next round. That's it. So once you've explained the game, it's time to play. As always, when you're playing a game, you wanna change it up to keep it interesting, uh, make different modifications. So in this game, for example, uh, switch up the movements. Have students do a moonwalk or a crab walk instead of running. Uh, have them do a silly dance or jog in place instead of doing jumping jacks. Uh, there are also a couple things you want to look out for when you're playing All My Neighbors. Sometimes the students uh, get nervous about being the person who's calling out, I love my neighbors. Uh, so just be ready with some suggestions if they get stuck. Uh, you can ask them what their favorite food is or favorite TV show. Tell them to say that when they're, when they're saying All My Neighbors. Um, and also remind students that what they say has to be true about them. So a student can't say, I love my neighbors, all my neighbors who are from Mars, because they're not from Mars. Um, it has to be true about them. And that way, everybody learns a little bit about each other while you're playing the game. And that's all my neighbors. Uh, everybody give me an air high five. Hope everybody had fun. Um, good luck leading this game with the students. Let us know if you have any questions or need any more um, advice. There'll be another video coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.